Hail and well met, fellow travelers. Welcome to the Gatehouse for the Knights of the Gizmonic Order. I am your Grandmaster Gizmo. Thank you so much for coming along. Uh, one of the videos that I've posted to YouTube has gotten a lot of attention has been uh, how to mod your Battletech game. Um, especially at the very beginning when Harebrained Schemes first came out with Battletech, there were a lot of um, desires to have additional functionality, not being stuck in the, that little corner of the periphery, for instance, and being able to explore the entire inner sphere, being able to sort your material differently so you can understand your salvage and what was good salvage versus not so good salvage, improving the firing line um, so that you can see whether you had a really good chance of hitting your target or not so good chance of hitting your target. All of these things became what we call Battletech mods, and the modding community that sprung up around Battletech was tremendous. Um, there are now 22 page, 424 results for Battletech mods um, at Nexus Mods. So I want to go through today just real quick and update the video that I published earlier about how to do it because Harebrained has now really embraced the modding community and made it a lot easier for us to mod our application and it is so much easier to do now than it was before. So this should be really, really simple for you guys. And I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to work it, work you through this and you're gonna have no problems whatsoever. So the first thing, oh, by the way, just real quick, I'm gonna drop all of these links below. Um, these are sort of my recommended mods to start off with, uh, but also uh, sort of how you can get started doing your, your own modding, um, changing up your application, your own program to do these things. So first thing is, uh, you want to go to Nexus Mods and then search for Battletech Mods. This uh, Nexus Mods is probably the best source of mods for Battletech from Harebrained. Uh, it certainly has most of the uh, ones that I find were really good and worthwhile getting. So um, the first thing is what you want to do is if you're going to do any mods at all, I really recommend the first thing is you get this Battletech Mod Manager. Um, it's right here. If you sort by endorsements, it is very high up on the list. It's very small, very easy to run. It does a lot of the basic stuff for you, which is awesome. So you don't have to go off and do some things. Uh, for instance, it does install what's called mod tech, which is a way of uh, linking the mods into the base application. And instead of having to go into GitHub and then download these things, the download a zip file and figure out how to it. Uh, Battletech Mod Manager will do all of that stuff for you. So if you click the Mod Manager, you're just going to end up in this screen. And you will then have uh, the ability to um, uh, look over here at Files. And then you can just download, manual download. This is going to give you a, um, I think it's an XE, that you can just download very quickly. So you just go to here, I go to slow download because I'm not doing anything yet. It's very, these are very small mods, by the way, just FYI. Um, but if you're looking at something, yep, this is an executable. And so then all you do is you just click on that and run it. It will ask you, do you want to install mod tech? The answer would be yes, please do install mod tech. Um, and then it will manage all of your mods for you. And what'll, what you'll end up with is a, an icon on your desktop like this. Then you just double click this dude and it checks your mod tech updates. You can also ask you, would you like to uh, automatically update mod tech? So anytime they make a, a change to mod tech, which is kind of the, like I said, it's the, the glue that allows uh, battle tech to talk to the mods. Um, I recommend strongly doing this. I'll tell you mod tech is up to date. And then you get this page. This is all your different, you know, this is your mod manager. You can launch this. It has it links to Sarna, which is how you can learn a lot more about Battletech. There is a Battletech, this is the Battletech wiki. So you're going to, if you have questions about like, you know, hey, look, I have all of the mechs except for the, the two mechs that are quads, you know, four-legged mechs. What are those? You can go to Sarna and go look those up. Um, and the, by the way, those two are the Scorpion and the Goliath. So in case you're wondering, um, but also you can go to Nexus and find your mods. You can go to GitHub and get more one, more mods. This allow, allows you to manage your, mod of, your mods to your game so that you can add or subtract mods based upon what you want to do. The one thing to keep in mind is that your mods are not going to be compatible with either the base game. So if you want to try to do any of that stuff, you're not going to be able to use your save games from that. And their save games are not going to be compatible between each other. So just be cautious. When you set up your mods, the what what version you're playing, that's what's your that's what you're going to have to have. So, 
now you've installed mod uh, mod tech uh, the mod manager rather you're all set okay now you want to get into other mods now if you're looking at something like um, uh, rogue tech which is an incredibly popular in fact it's probably the most popular of the mods available uh, this uh, is sort of a you play locally but what you play locally affects a global uh, gameplay and so they have it set up so that like you know if you're doing missions on a on a planet that it changes control that kind of stuff it's really actually pretty imp impressive uh, 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 mod from that perspective um, I tried playing it a couple times I was personally not very interested in it but I do know tons of people do uh, and I strongly recommend that if you um, are installing it and trying to play with it and really want to get more out of it that you go ahead uh, hit the reddit for rogue tech and um, there's a subreddit for rogue tech um, and you just go to that and then th they'll be able to support you in that stuff the two I want to talk about today are ones that I think are going to be incredibly useful for you. Um, the first is this community asset bundle, and the second is this uh, extended uh, 325 Commander's Edition. The one thing um, that I, I want to kind of get into, the community asset bundle here is uh, a really good uh, baseline, well, hopefully it'll, it'll fit a load. <laughs> um, it will provide a lot of um, new missions new uh assets which are the models the textures all that kind of stuff so it really has added a bunch of things let's see your patch rifleman patch Duziel, marauder 2 bushwhacker hellspawn fafnir so it does include some uh clan style mechs it also includes yeah here's a arctic wolf um but also includes some of the unseen now the unseen just in case you don't know there were 16 battle mechs that were created for the original battletech board game that were based upon designs from other licenses, including uh, Macross and um, I think some Gundam stuff. Anyway, those were there's a licensing battle between Harmony Gold that owned that stuff uh, for Robotech, and the developers uh, Fasa who ran uh, BattleTech. Regardless, after a while, Harmony Gold won the suit, and Fasa had to drop those battle mech designs as they were. From the game so while the mechs still existed you could still have a phoenix hawk you could still have an archer you could still have a warhammer those things didn't exist in the games in those original designs so a lot of games uh like mech warrior like the original battletech did not include the unseen because they had to make a new design for that these are brand new models for those designs so the good thing here is that we are actually able to bring in the unseen meaning that we now get access to those 16 mechs that were not part of the um, uh, sets that we were able to get before. So that's really cool. Uh, in fact, my uh, my Lance that I run, I have two Phoenix Hawks, a Griffin and a, and a Panther, and I was only able to really have a Griffin and a Panther because I couldn't get Phoenix Hawks. Now, Harebrain also did some stuff where they, they added some of these mechs in, but not all of them. The good thing about the Community Asset Bundle is it does. This now has all of the mechs which is really cool um, so you want to get the community asset bundle but you want to hold off on installing that quite yet because the first thing you're going to want to install is going to be the extended 3025 commanders edition now I just tried installing this today and one of the things that I found was that I was unable to get the mod manager download to work properly so I had to do a manual download but here's the good thing it's really easy so you're going to download this. It's going to unlock. It's going to download a zip file for you. Then all you're going to do is go into your into your um, uh, zip file, and then you're going to um, uh, open that up. And if you're using Windows, it should just automatically allow you to get access to it. And then you're going to um, highlight all of the things that are in there. Let me just show you real quick what that looks like. So here is the extended 3025 to 3057 Commander's Edition. The nice thing about this is that it does have, um, whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, it does have all the stuff around, um, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, would you go away, please? Uh, <laughs> I apologize. Um, it does have uh, all the clan stuff. And the nice thing about this Commander's Pack, which is really cool, actually, is it has 
all of these things that you have. It's got the full inner sphere map. It's got starts in 3025. It goes to 3057. It has the timeline. So there's a fourth succession war that starts in about 3029, 3030. There's the uh, mech corks, so for things like um, wasps and stingers are very nimble jumpers, and so you get benefits for being in a, in a stinger versus in a panther, let's say. Um, it takes uh, has a panic system, so that if uh, if a battle mech is, let's say, is getting pummeled by a whole lance, that pilot may panic and punch out, even though their mech may not be fully um, damaged or destroyed. That bat that that pilot may side decide. Whoa, I've had enough of this crap and just punch out. Um, I've had it happen in one of my missions. It's pretty cool. Uh, it also has uh, ability for higher difficulty levels and skill ceilings. So the nice thing here is that uh, rather than sort of maxing out, which you can very easily do with the Iron Man mode um, or the career mode, is that you're going to have abilities to uh, continue to extend your skill set and. Play at higher difficulties. So if you're finding new normal or hard or regular Iron Man just too not challenging enough, great. Pump it up and go from there. Um, it does rebalance the weapon skills and variants and stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here that's really cool. Uh, there's more missions. There's you know, all these skills. So I really recommend you take a look at all this stuff. But the nice thing is, is that it is also a little bit more um, lore-centric. Uh, so if you're working for Hal Steiner then you get stuff that Hal Steiner has. You're not going to get like a PXH1K, which is the Karita variant, because that's a Karita variant. You're going to get potentially a Steiner variant or the default uh, battle mech. So, so the good thing here is that, again, it's, it's very it's very lore, true to the lore um, and also true to the timeline. So in 3050, the clans invade. And if you're still running your mercenary company by then, guess what? you got to fight clan stuff now. <laughs> so... Uh, again, I, I just, this mod to me is like, th this is exactly what I wanted Battletech to do. Um, they did not do this. The modding community stood up and said, we'll take the mantle for doing this. And they've done a fabulous job. I've been playing it. I've been really enjoying it. Um, I've not been posting any videos of me playing it, uh, but I have been really playing it and enjoying it. So I really strongly recommend it. Um and uh, yeah, anyway, the, the whole point here is that the installation of this is relatively straightforward. All you do is you open up that, fo that uh, folder, you take all of these things, you find your battle tech folder, which actually is uh, usually it is in um, just program. So just go to your disk. Uh, okay, I know I clicked the wrong button there. That's okay. You go to program files x86, you go to Steam. So scroll down to Steam and. Open that up, go to Steam Apps, and then here you go to Common. Now inside Common, you'll see Battletech. There it is. And inside Battletech, you'll see a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, then you need to make one. Uh, that's where you're going to put uh, your, mo your mod manager. It's where you're going to put all of your mods. But inside Mods, you're just going to go ahead and select everything inside that zip file and move it and then and copy it over that's it that's how you install that uh mech commander uh the commander uh, pack so again very straightforward very simple um if the uh mod manager begins to work again uh like i said if i couldn't get it to work this time then um uh you can just simply drag the um you can just drag your zip files i'll show you here real quick um yes please make sure thank you you just drag your zip files right here. So you highlight your, your zip file in here. You say, here's my here's my zip file, and I can just drag it and drop it. And then bam, it will add it automatically to your mods list. So again, really, really cool stuff. After you have installed the commander's pack, then you need to install the community asset bundle. So you have to do the community asset bundle after you do uh, the... Um, the the the, uh, the commander edition so you'll do that you'll do like i said you'll go over here again to the community asset bundle you'll just do this manual download that will give you that will present to you this um uh executable file right here community asset bundle you'll launch that uh, let me actually launch it here and then you'll say update cab and that's it then you're done uh, this will take some time. It'll process and go through a whole bunch of stuff, but then you will be done 
with everything that you need for these two major uh, packs. Once you do that, you go into your you want to go into your uh, BattleTech mod manager now, or back to the the mod manager. Go to your mods. At this point, you can start selecting which mods you want to do, which mods you don't want to do. So you can say, hey, I want this performance fix. Um, or, hey, I want to do the extended 3050 stuff, which is all the battle mechs. Um, let me see if I can resize this dude. Nope. Oh, there he goes. No, well, maybe it's going to let me do it. Not really. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, but, uh, so that one is this one here, extended 3050, is uh, optional mechs, uh, V's technology post the 3025 timeline that come in time or from starting the leader timeline. So again, some of the things that we have, like the Helm Core that Grey Death Legion found, we don't really start seeing those battle mech variants or those technology improvements until the 3040s. Because even though we found it in 3030 something, 3035, I think. No, not even quite that late. Uh, even though we found it, you know, after the third succession war was over, um, it took time to disseminate that information to have, um, you know, like the new Avalon Institute of Science begin to start developing things as well as the other ones for the various houses that they had. Everybody had to take that and then figure out, okay, what is this data? How do we use it now? How do we build stuff that uses this stuff? So by the time you get to 3050, that's when we really begin to see all of these things happen. And the one thing that we get um, was the 3050 technical readout, this guy right here, which showed us all the things that were coming out of the Helm Core plus um, all of the designs that came in as part of the clan invasions. So we sort of had this, this, uh, this blending of all the stuff from the clans plus all the stuff from the Helm Core. Um, but again, the 3040s is when that stuff started to get introduced technologically. So really by the 30, by 3050, we really haven't uh, seen that much improvement in the battle mechs because we really haven't had that much time to integrate that stuff into our mechs. But anyway, so you kind of go through, you do all these things. You can pick the ones I have actually, um, I think selected everything pretty much, uh, except for skip intro, which I probably should do at some point. Um, Here's mod tech, um, you know, uh, give them Kel. <laughs> there's some, it looks like there's the battle Tukiid. There's, um, uh, there's some uh, 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 missions here that you can kind of play along with, which are really cool. So um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Here's some flashpoints. The Raid, Betrayal Helm, Birth of a Legend, Falcon's Fury, Fighting Ghost. There's flashpoints that are included in that, in that commander pack. Again, this pack looks like it has as much stuff as I would ever want to have as part of playing Battletech, um, which is exciting. So let me go ahead and launch it and kind of give you an idea of what this looks like. So when you first launch, it's going to check and make sure everything is working properly. If you do not see certain things on the screen, then you know you haven't installed things properly. Again, the first thing is install the mod manager. Make sure you install mod tech. Then install the commander edition then install the community asset bundle, and then it all should work out. Um, and you should, you should see all things. So here you go. So if you see the mod tech, that means that you've done a good job installing mod tech and you're, you're ready to go. This will begin uh, initializing all the mods, trying to figure out what mods exist, what mods are turned off, and uh, making them available to the Battletech game to use in-game. So uh, we're going through, still loading up mod tech. <clears throat> um, and the, the more mods you have, the more it will take. Um, so just as an FYI, um, it does take some time. All right, so we're going through all that stuff. Julio. Now we are going to get the splash screen. And if you're using the Commander Edition like I am, then you're going to see a couple things that are going to be very, very clear to you this has been installed properly. So here's the HBS screen, which I gotta say, like when I first heard that Harebrain Screams, i.e. Jordan Weissman and team were going to build Battletech, I was excited AF. Um, I was just ecstatic that that was gonna be a thing that they were gonna do. So uh, very, very happy about that. Okay. Hello. <laughs> there we go. So now you see Battletech Extended Commander's Edition. So now we know that we've installed the Extended Commander's Edition properly uh, and the Community Asset Bundle is there. 
So let me go ahead and load up my career real quick and I'll just show you. Um, so yep, there we go. And now the cool thing is um, this will begin tracking um, control of planets in the inner sphere. So if you do missions on planets, say, let's say that you're doing um, uh, Davion and Liao, and you're with the Fed Suns and you're attacking uh, Liao planets, you can change the ownership of that planet to become Davion, and it will begin to change the borders, which is incredibly cool. Uh, the other thing, real quick, they've updated all of the, um, uh, the, the, the hints up here. So just be careful, just rather don't be careful, but please pay attention because these are all things about the extended, um, the extended campaign stuff and about community asset bundle. So these will tell you a lot of things about the new mods that you have installed for your game. So make sure you're paying attention to those things. And we are talking about case, which we didn't have. Um, so there's a lot of really, um, uh, important things to get out of this okay so oh we're all fatigued okay oh that's really cool so now we have a new status we have fatigued I, I, was, I thought that might have been the case um but now if i go to navigation you'll see here look it's the inner sphere this map is showing me the entire inner sphere now and i can go in here and i can look and see here's the whole inner sphere and here's the um here's the periphery and here's all the different um uh, periphery states out here. I don't see the ones up here because um, there are some out here. There is this out here, which is kind of cool. Um, and then here's the Federated Sons. Here's House Liao or the Capellan Commonwealth. Um, uh, Confederation, sorry. Free Worlds League, Lyran Commonwealth, and the um, uh, Draconis Combine or Karita. So uh, yeah, th so this is this is the whole place. And what it, it started me uh, because I picked my character was from the Lyran Commonwealth. That's where we started. And we started somewhere that had half a skull challenge. So Symington is a half skull challenge. Now my normal unit is stationed right here on Lions, which is a two skull system. Um, so um, that's if I wanted to go there for my 12th Star Guards, which is where my um, my unit is normally stationed, then that would be a two skull. And I'm not, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Let me tell you, Comstar presence, very cool. There's a lot of really cool stuff about this now that we're kind of seeing um, that they've really begun to, to um, uh, augment the gameplay. So you can go, um, you know, you can go to anywhere. You can go to Tharkad if you wanted to, which is out here somewhere, um, or Luthien, which is out here somewhere, or uh, New Avalon, which is the, uh, which is out here somewhere, or Sion for the Capellans, which is down here, and Atreus, which is I think like right in here. So. Um, but you can go to the capitals now. You can actually go to a capital for the for your particular house. You can travel all around and do all these things. But you'll also see here that um, I think it's I thought it was showing the stuff. There was a thing. Maybe it's not in this one. Uh, there was a thing that was showing sort of like different um, again different uh, elements where it was saying, oh, you know, you can go here and um, this is sixty percent. Uh, Liao, or you know, sixty percent Steiner versus forty percent Karita, and that kind of thing. So I'll have to take a look at that and figure it out. But um, anyway, again, if you are looking for what the quote unquote true BattleTech experience, this is the one to get. Um, and this again will also get you going from thirty twenty five through to thirty fifty seven. So it's going to give you a lot of time uh, to kind of go through to to get this stuff. Now, one thing there is a timeline. Uh, there was a timeline uh, mod that would show you the actual dates. So I don't know if that's not included. I'll have to find that one. But since you're just looking for how do I get my Battletech game modded, this is how you do it. Now, that aside, let's go back to here real quick. And bam. Now, um, again, if you want to go through, you, what you, if you want to go through these things, what you can do is you can um, yeah, just Battletech mods. Um, just go to nexusmods.com slash Battletech or, or go to nexusmods.com and then search for Battletech and then you'll see all of the mods. You can then start picking and choosing and finding out. What I really strongly recommend though is that for each of the mods that you look through the um, description 
to understand what the different uh, mechs are or what the different um, uh, mod benefits are. But then also um, it will should tell you a little bit of a description about like maybe how to install it. If you go to the posts, usually that will have, and it looks like it really is truly down. Uh, that'll have information that people have posted about like, hey, look, you know, I've got uh, questions or concerns about this. Um, you know, here's terminology. What can I do with it? Here's the change log. But then also uh, other people are going to start pro providing um, uh, feedback and explaining problems that they're having or, you know, why they can't get it to work with other mods. So you begin to kind of see that stuff. But if you, like I said, if you go back to the main uh, Nexus mods, um, which hopefully load up here in a minute, uh, you can see all this stuff. Uh, hopefully this has helped you understand how to be better modify your Battletech game now that things are sort of in a much better place with Harebrained, with supporting mods. Uh, again, it's not quite as um, uh, difficult, um, but here are some examples, uh, you know, snaff events, weapon rethink, uh, shoot to kill, tie, uh, true Argo upgrades, uh, random mech component upgrader. <laughs> There's a uh, cool one, which is a Battletech save editor, where you can actually go into your save files and tweak stuff. So if you're kind of tired of, um, you know, uh, having some things you know, like, you know, I don't have enough money or whatever. Um, great. Then you can go in. Yeah, here it is. Battletech Save Editor. Uh, it's highly endorsed. People are loving it. Um, here's some more gear options. Here's Firelink Line Improvements, which I've used. He downloaded uh, Real Hit Chance, Commander Portrait Loaded, which I've, I've done before as well. Basic Panic System. The nice thing about the extended uh, the Commander's Edition is that it's incorporated a lot of these other mods into it. So it's taken the sort of this best of breed stuff and brought, brought it together under the umbrella of let's allow play from 3025 through 3057, um, which is really kind of cool. So uh, that's going to be really nice, nice for you to do. Uh, pilot health pop up, Star League equipment, um, all these things. There's all this stuff. Here's the Inner Sphere map um, that I downloaded long ago. So here's Advanced 3062. This is all about the, you know, 3062 with the FedCom Civil War. So again, you can really customize your game to be what the era that you want to play is. For me, my era, 3025. Third Succession War moving into fourth. Um, but I know a lot of people love the clan stuff. They love um, all the, the clan mechs. They love the clan lore. All that stuff, fabulous. You can do that. You can do the, this one, or you can do this one and just set it to 3050 when you're having to start with clans. All of that stuff's really going to give you a good opportunity to make Battletech a game that you want to play over and over and over again. Okay, so I hope that that's helped you. I really hope that um, you'll be able to, to get a lot more out of this. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate. Drop a comment below. Uh, reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at Gizmo Devo. Uh, just ping me and ask. I am more than willing to uh, spend some time helping you figure out what's going on. Um, you know, how we could even do a Zoom session or something and do some screen sharing and try to figure out how to get your game working. Um, typically, just one quick note. If you are experiencing problems with your mods, the one thing to, that, you can, that you can do is delete your mods folder and then go back into uh, Steam and then say, I want to uh, verify installation files. If you do that, that should get you the, the, the core solid foundation that you need to build on for doing your mods. Uh, let me just show that to you real quick so that you know how to do that. But I really hope this has been helpful. I hope that you've been able to get um, uh, something out of this and that it's gonna be useful for you. So here you go. Um, you go into here, manage. Um, let's see, yep, go properties, sorry. Go to properties, local files, and then you can verify integrity of game files. That will allow you to make sure that you've got that solid foundation that all of your local files are the ones that Harebrain published last. After that, you can build on that solid foundation with your mods. Uh, again, I would start with the mod manager and then move into the other ones. Uh, and I do know, like I said, if you're doing the, the commander edition, then do the commander edition, then do the community asset bundle, and that will let you get um, uh, all of that stuff set up properly. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, take care and uh, happy uh, battle teching. <laughs> Enjoy your time and uh, have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much. See ya. Bye.